Ooh, what's good guys? My name is Jacob and welcome back to some Infinity Blade 3 guys. Welcome back. This is going to look a little bit different. Um, you guys are probably uh, seeing a little bit of uh, some black bars. That is, is kind of the main topic of today's video is letting you guys know what happened. So pretty much I was recording Infinity Blade 3 on my uh, iPhone SE is what I usually had. Um, and my mom, my family was out uh, in Denver and we were going to a pizza place and she took a picture of us and uh, she's been uh, visiting my grandma. Uh, and so she didn't get a whole lot of sleep. So I guess she was pretty tired. Uh, so she kind of dropped my phone and tried to catch it and just flicked it up higher and just, it just absolutely destroyed it. So all that to say, I got a new phone um, which is, you know, a variant of the iPhone 10, I think. Uh, and, you know, obviously Infinity Blade is old enough to where it's not optimized for that. So there are going to be those black bars. Let me know, guys, is that is that a series killer for this? I, 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 want, I sincerely want to know. I hope not because you guys have been supporting this game like crazy, and I really, really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's been really fun so far. Uh, so... With that out of the way, hopefully you guys are ready for this episode because I'm going to keep making videos. Um, pretty much last time. I, so also, the new phone also means um, I had to get a, you know, I had to start over a little bit. Um, I did enable cloud save this time, so if anything happens, I should be okay. I can't believe I always forget that. But pretty much I should be the same as last time. I think I don't have... One of the ones, one of these dual ones we got last time, but that's okay. We're using the Infinity Cleaver. I sold all my master, uh, all my mastered items at uh, the merchant. Um, but today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking on Issa's Act Two. We we get to play as Issa now. Um, she's not too different than Cyrus, um, but she does get to do some special stuff throughout the game. So uh, yeah, it should be uh, should be a good time. So hopefully, you guys are okay with. Uh, with all of the the new you know the new stuff hopefully my mic sounds pretty good uh, hopefully it sounds better than than it has previously um but yeah this is one of my favorite missions it's just it's just sick i'm a sucker for uh, a sucker for deserts so start awakening let's do it we got some some stuff on the ground here and we got our first enemy I actually don't know what this guy's called. Muzzled Troll, Isa, level one. I think. Let me just make sure I know what weapon. Yeah. So we're using, uh, we're using duels. That's kind of Isa's default. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and fight this dude. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. This is actually my first video since New Year's. Um. And oh yeah, shadows are a little weird. You guys see it by his feet. So yeah, she always gets a free hit with the crossbow, usually in a fight. Um. But I've noticed shadows around the feet are kind of weird on the iPhone XR, I think is what this is. Um, hello. Hello, email. All right, get out of here. Okay, so that's a free 20 damage, right? So we'll, we'll get into fighting this guy. But yeah, I hope you guys' is, uh, I hope your guys' break was awesome. I seriously, I, I hope your, um, your New Year's was great. Mom was really good. Uh, pretty boring because my mom, like I said, she was gone and so was my brother. But me and my dad and a friend of ours... Uh, just hung out, watched some football. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, but now I am actually back in Arizona, back for school, um, back for school. So she has some pretty sick attacks. She can do a lot of damage. Um, we can't. I don't think we can do combos yet. I can do combos on Cyrus, um, but we can't quite do combos yet for for Isa. Um, but if you guys are, are free this week, I, I have a little, whoops, oh man, I could have freaking, I don't know why I didn't parry right there. Um, if you guys are free this week, something that I, I wanted to kind of advertise a little bit, uh, has nothing to do with me, but it's just something that I watch. Um, there's this thing called Awesome Games Done Quick, um, and it's pretty much, oh yeah, look at those shadows, dude, that is so weird. Okay, so we got a ring from that boy, some XP, not too bad, um... But it's pretty much a huge live stream. Hundreds of thousands of people watch it uh, every single, you know, hang on, guys. I'm going to, I should have done this before I started recording. I'm just going to put this on Do Not Disturb. Hopefully we'll be good. Okay, I think we're good. Um, it's pretty much a big live stream that tons of people watch and people speed run games for charity. Uh, it's on my computer right now, actually. Um, it's really fun. Uh, and it's, you know, it's, uh, it's a good time. So if you're looking for, for something to watch this week, it's on all week until Sunday, I think. 
through Sunday or through Saturday evening. It usually stays up really late on uh, on Sunday. Um, so if you guys are looking for uh, something to watch, I would recommend it. This guy's pretty cool, and this area is really sick. It reminds me of uh, a little bit of Laneru Desert. Why didn't I? Why didn't I parry that? Hello. Reminds me a little bit of Laneru Desert from uh, Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. Just a little bit. Uh, it's got you know the desert, but it's also kind of got the the old industrial ruin style of uh, of stuff there. So so yeah, it's cool. And uh, I know the story is a little bit interesting to to follow for this game, uh, but pretty much we are here to see a deathless. I think we're here to uh, to get some answers. I believe we got Radriar's data pod. That's pretty. Pretty standard. I'm actually not 100% sure what this what this mission is for. Again, it's been a long time since I played this game. Um, but yeah, it's it's a cool it's a cool one. I, I think the the landscape and design of this this mission is easily one of the best. Uh, I mean, all of them are awesome in this game, but you know. All right, get this guy out of here. 800 bucks, GG, level two with Issa now. Hopefully we'll be able to stay on par with Cyrus. So let's see, so we can get combos, we can get the super. Um, we'll probably go for combos, I think. One more point to unlock, four more, four more, three more. Um, let's put one into combos and then let's do one into shield so we can hopefully get the super attack soon. And I know I have a bunch of these to collect. I'm not gonna do that yet because because I don't want to. Um, we're gonna we're gonna spend it. We're gonna get a massive chip opening spree here soon. So don't you worry, guys. We'll do all of that shortly. Uh, okay, that's a light weapon. I think that's good. Uh, oh, that's that might be for that might be for Cyrus. It is for Cyrus. I forgot that that could happen. Okay, all right. All right, that's fine. Let's go. Ooh, some some potion ingredients all over the place. Not bad at all. Yeah, this this part's really really cool. You know, I don't know where they get the inspiration for all this, but uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, what are your guys' – That's kind of a, a question. I, I you know I, I like to do uh, in my keyboard series. I like to do kind of daily questions, uh, and I don't know if we'll do one every episode, but if there's something that comes up like this. Uh, I'll, I'll feel like I can ask. Uh, what's your favorite kind of area biome type thing to explore in video games? Um, mine, definitely desert. That's why I like this one so much. I love deserts in Cube World. I love Laneru Desert and Zelda, like I mentioned. Definitely my favorite types of areas. Um, jungles are cool too. Uh, but I'm just curious what, you know, usually games have pretty segmented areas of different biomes. So what are your favorite, uh, what are your favorite areas in, in games just in general? Uh, we got the arrow shot on that guy. Uh, that's pretty nice. I don't think you can ever upgrade that, but it's always, you know, it's always, always a little free damage. Always a bit of free damage for us. I don't know what my what my uh, magic is. We'll freeze because I don't have anything that does damage. Should be pretty easy to get perfect parries on this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. I think we do. We get to do the stab twice. Yeah, there we go. Sick. There we go. There's the combos. So uh, the combos for the dual weapons are a little bit different than light weapons. You have to go up, down, then up, and I think it. The, you know, the same works for left and right. Um, but you can get some some gnarly stuff going. There you go, and you can just chain it and just kick this guy in the face a bunch and do lots of damage. Pretty sick stuff, uh, but yeah, I you know I I hope you guys are you're just chilling today, having a good day. Yeah, my semester actually just started yesterday as of recording this, um, so I am uh, the, the my schedule is looking pretty dang easy. So I'm really looking forward to it this year. Hopefully, we'll dang it have a lot of time to record. I don't know. Sometimes it like doesn't register my my hits. Get some some victory bonus on this guy. Snap his neck. There we go. Down he goes, and we get to continue with those with those gnarly shadows. Okay, so we already mastered our thing. I hope that was a sword for 
for us. We're gonna get this. We're gonna put a point toward the super. I think it's not for us. Okay, we're gonna have to buy something. Uh, we could do. We could do a duel. Man, all these are so expensive. We'll go one more fight. We'll see if uh, we can. I think there's a chest. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's. Yeah, there is a chest right there in the center. So hopefully we can use that and potentially get something out of it. We got this dude, Mr. Dark Armor, over here. I believe that's what the armor was in the first, uh, or in the, I think it was in Infinity Blade 2 when this type of armor was introduced, and you can you can buy it. Um, it looks pretty sick. Looks pretty sick. Plated Guard, level 3, easy. He Wasn't the Horn Chieftain like level 6 or level 7 or something? Like, hopefully this guy will be easier than him, but we just snuck up on this guy. So I hope he's, I hope he's ready. Ready to get smacked. Ready to get smacked. There we go. The perfect parry break. Man, I feel like I'm so much better at this game than I used to be. Like, after taking such a long break, I never used to. If you go back and watch the, uh, the series before this, the season one, technically, um, I was not this, I, I wasn't consistently landing these, the, the great parries and everything. I definitely parry more than anything else. Like, I could dodge more, but, uh, I think parry breaks give you the, the longest amount of damage time. Plus, I think I'm the best at parries, so that's why I do that. I'll try to mix it up, because I definitely think, uh, that's, that's a good way to go. You know, don't do everything the same all the time. You gotta mix it up sometimes, yeah. So... Yeah, that's kind of how I've always played this game. But yeah, I, uh, oh, come on, man. I It's always after the big cutscene breaks. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just like not tapping as much as I should, or swiping as much as I should be. I really don't know. Um, so that's my bad. We'll get that achievement soon, though. Oof. Oof. All right, so we've already, we're almost mastered our, our helmet as well. Um, these little black triangles, um, require equipped uh certain equipped weapons two of those require osiris and then if we go uh i think the cuddle is uh a thing yeah cuddle and there you go one hundred and two thousand. pretty much like the karambit knife um for isa you have to have that to go through there and usually those are those are lock pick okay a thousand bucks that's pretty much a weapon uh, if we're if we're thrifty about it, those are two thousand. Why are hers so expensive? Um, I'm gonna go with a duel because I need some practice with that. So we're gonna go with the dual weapon, um, and we're just gonna continue. We're gonna keep going, gonna keep on going, and and uh, soon we'll see the the, uh, the the chance to lock pick, which is what those black triangles usually are, uh, are opportunities to lock pick. Uh, we got a feral troll level nine, all right. But I've got some wind damage now, son. So you best, you best be ready. You best be ready. Um, but yeah, hopefully this goes well. I can only parry and I can only block. You can't dodge when you have a a double, a double, a uh, heavy weapon. That's what I'm talking about. That's probably super confusing. Oh, shoot. Man, the, the combos for that are kind of crazy. You, you do, like, double down or double up. Um, and let's freeze this guy. Hopefully we can get the, uh, the achievement for not taking damage with a heavy weapon here. I would appreciate that. But, yeah, the combos, it looks like you have to double slash. And then you do a stab and then a slash. Kind of like the, uh, oh, what? It didn't even give me the break? What the heck was that? That's garbage. And you're garbage, Mr. Feral Troll. Ooh, there you go. Man, that's that's interesting. I feel like those breaks do not last long at all. Huh, okay. Maybe we just have to learn that, but th it feels good. You know, heavy weapons definitely do the most damage. Okay, I didn't get hit on the first, the first swipe after the cutscene, so that's always good. There we go. Give me all that XP in the world. 20 XP. There we go. Indestructible. That's that's what I needed. Whoa, yeah, lots of uh, lots of neck breaking going on here. Magic stat gem. That's the first gem we've ever had. Uh, so that's cool. We mastered our helmet too. So 
at this stage in the game, I think we can get our super. Nice, we can. And then let's put two into lock picking. So we'll need two more to do that. Um, so we have a gem now, which gives us plus six to whatever magic stat we're using. That is not quite mastered yet. Let's get a new helmet. Gentile helm. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, and yeah, that block's right there. That box blocks. Uh, requires lock pick one skill. And I think it goes up to lock pick three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, we're getting close to the end of this mission. I think there's still a little bit more to go. Um, but we should be good. I know there's a large, yeah, there's a large chest somewhere in here, but we can't, obviously can't get that. But what I was going to say is we, at this stage in the game, we can't really start saving up for some of the, the big things um, yet. Because I want to keep, you know, keep the XP flowing. Get the level ups are probably more important at this stage in the game. This guy looks gnarly, though. Um, so, hopefully we can get a decent break on this guy. Oh, not, not enough time for two combos. Okay, that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, I, as much as I would love to save up for literally... All the big stuff. Oh yeah, we, we did have time for it. Nice, that was so much damage. Whew. Um, as much as I would love to, I think XP is more important. So we'll just spend, you know, short, shorter, smaller amounts of money as we go. Um, and I don't know why it is, but I always feel like Issa is just so much stronger than Cyrus. And she levels up faster. I don't know what it is, but already, man, we are wrecking house on higher level enemies than Cyrus was. And I don't know if that's just the game or what, but, uh, definitely seems worth it to me. We've already mastered that dude. I just dropped a thousand bucks on that, man. I just dropped a thousand freaking bucks on it. All right. We're going to get the lock pick one, which is literally one fight too late. Probably could have got something else there. Not Cyrus. Why am I in Cyrus? Let's... Okay, so we're going to go equip the ring. The new ring. We have Incinerate and Defend. Um, I'm not going to switch my weapon. I don't... I Like I said, I don't... <laughs> I should be buying stuff, but I literally just bought that. So we're going to use it for a few more fights. Uh, I don't want to keep spending <laughs> just tons and tons of money. That, that door right there is actually really important. Did you see that money just pop in? Just... <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this is fairly important. Uh, this fight's always usually pretty difficult. But uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything yet. We will we will find out more about this uh, when the time comes. This fight's always kind of hard. Um, I feel like I've always had trouble with this, but now we have our super, we do have the super attack, which is good. Um, so hopefully we can get the chance to, to not die to this guy. He's pretty nasty. His, he's got some interesting moves. There we go. Really? What a break that was. Holy crap. So bad. That's why you want parry breaks, man. They're like any other break is is really just it's, it's hard, man. It's oh man, I saw that coming. I see. I don't know what's happening here. And then he comes from that way, and then he comes from. Okay, all right. Wow, that attack is just the worst. We'll do uh, we'll do incinerate. I think right at the start here, so we can get some some good damage. We're we're doing okay so far. Okay, nice. We got it off before he hit us. Decent chunk of damage. Do a perfect block. Uh, that's that's cool. Okay, nice. I don't think we can finish him here, but nope, we can't. He's is going crazy, dude. Teravax, you going down? And I do think Teravax is a deathless, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what his little thing said. And see, I feel like blocking everything. Okay, so this is coming from this way. And then, then down, and then, oh, dude. Dude, like, you can't do anything. Holy, see, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I don't have enough shield points. 
in my shield to, oh my dude, just chill. Oh dude, I'm gonna die. I'm legit gonna, dude, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. That's why this fight is literally garbage, dude. Oh my gosh, man. So I'm back here. Um, yeah, so I, I respawn because obviously that guy doesn't have the Infinity Blade. <sighs> the first fight we lost. Gosh dang it. Um, I am. I think I am going to end the episode off there, but I will go ahead and beat him. Uh, beat him off camera. There's not much that happens. You just beat him and then and then leave. Uh, I will be recording. I'll probably just record it. Like I probably won't commentate, but I'll probably record it uh, so that you guys can see the the cutscenes and stuff, and I'll, I'll edit it into next episode. Um, but that is that is uh, the the desert mission. That is the one really really hard part about it. That fight is nasty, man. And my super just did not charge. I just got destroyed, and I, I would have used it if I had the chance, and I probably would have uh, survived. So we have two of these light weapons now actually so i'm gonna use those before i use the infinity cleaver um but yeah that's gonna do it for this episode hopefully uh you guys enjoyed hopefully it was a, a decent break for new year's and now uh, we're all back in full swing for the new year uh but i hope you guys are doing great 